reveal the truth behind these seemingly harmless lies. Here are some lies your parents probably told you. Number one, I don't have a favorite child. You may have heard your parents say they don't have a favorite child, but according to sociologist Catherine Conger, it's likely they may have lied to you. Ouch. 384 families participated in Conger's research study. 74% of mothers and 70% of fathers admitted to giving preferential treatment to one child over another. And it wasn't always the oldest child that was the favorite, as many suspect. Number two, lying about serious situations. Have you ever found out your parents held the truth from you about something very serious? Maybe your parents told you they were fine when they clearly were not. Some parents prefer to shield their kids from the harsh truth of reality, but instead of explaining the truth in an easy way for a child to understand, they avoid the truth or choose to lie in order to protect you. Well, according to psychologist Kate Roberts, that may not always be the best idea. Roberts explains that it's more reassuring for parents to admit the situation in terms that the child can grasp. Parents can then talk the child through their feelings about it while they process the hard reality, whatever it is. They could have negative side effects as well, according to Roberts. She explains, if children are repeatedly lied to by their parents, then they may begin to doubt and distrust even the simplest realities. Number three, Santa values being nice. Okay, we all know Santa isn't real. Sorry, kids. As a child, we often hear phrases like, Santa values nice kids only, or Santa gives coal to naughty kids. But did you know that according to a 2015 study, 94% of parents in America admit to bribing their children in exchange for good behavior. 23% admitted that they would act unethically to snag the last popular holiday gift in stores. And 17% of parents revealed they would indeed lie to their fellow shoppers in order to get that new toy for their child. 8% would knock down another person's child and 7% would even knock down a senior citizen just so they could fulfill their child's holiday wish list. <laughs> what is happening to humanity? It looks like Santa rewards bad behaviors in adults with the best holiday gifts. Number four, denying their child's feelings. You may have heard your parents tell you to not cry, or maybe they've insisted that you don't actually feel that way. Denying a child's feelings isn't a great option, and it's also a form of gaslighting. According to psychologist Kate Roberts, these denials are invalidating and leave the child feeling alone and misunderstood. And number five, I'm only acting in your best interest. Did your parents often say this to you when you expressed how you felt about their decisions? For example, let's say you just wanna get a cute puppy as a pet, but your parents refuse, only to spend money on their own desires, a brand new car, even though they already have more cars than they need. You express your feelings to them, but instead of telling you the real reasons why, they lie to you with excuses such as, it's because of your allergies or it's for your own good, just to avoid the discussion. This may make you feel like your opinions, thoughts, and desires don't actually matter. If you like this video and the way we explain the subject, subscribe to our channel. We try to explain complex subjects in simple language and cartoons to support students all around the world in their learning.